Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Christine with Gage Girl Training here, and today's video, we're gonna talk about keto and intermittent fasting for beginners. So, let's get started. So the keto diet and intermittent fasting have been around for a very long time. However, in the last few years, they have gained a lot of popularity and they are commonly done together. And in this video, I'm going to break down in a very simple way for beginners to understand why this is, whether or not you should be doing this and what each different one is on its own. So let's first start with what the ketogenic diet is. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, low carb protocol that forces your body to be fueled off of fats. This is very profound because the body is typically fueled off of carbohydrates. Only after you burn through your carbohydrates is your body able to tap into stored fat as a fuel source. This is effective for those seeking to lose body fat because when your body is being fueled off of fat, it makes it much easier for your body to tap into stubborn areas of stored body fat when you are eating in a caloric deficit. So in order to get into a state of ketosis, which is where your body is utilizing fat as a fuel source, what needs to happen is your body needs to be completely depleted of carbohydrates. And that doesn't happen the second you stop eating carbs. It actually occurs over time because even though you stop eating carbs, your body still stores carbs in the form of glycogen in the muscle cells. So fasting is something that can help accelerate that process. And the reason why fasting is so crucial to getting into ketosis is that your body will need to burn through stored carbs before it can get to using fat as a fuel source. So if you are fasting, meaning not eating anything, your body's gonna need energy during that time. What's it gonna rely on? It's gonna go through the carbs first and this can accelerate that. So intermittent fasting is the period of controlling your fasting window, which is a period of time where you eat nothing and your feeding window, which is where you get all of your nutrients in. Now, please note that intermittent fasting does not insinuate a caloric deficit. All it does is control your meal timing. Now, common intermittent fast is a 16-8 where you're fasting for 16 hours and eating all of your food in an eight hour window. The benefit of intermittent fasting is that it reduces your body's insulin spikes. Every time you eat something, your body's going to have an insulin spike because your body's gonna to wanna to naturally lower your blood sugar every time you eat. Even if you are on keto, you still have little spikes in your blood sugar. Granted, it's less, but you still have them. That being said, when you are intermittent fasting, the fact that you have fewer insulin spikes and you're concentrating all of that into an eight hour window, that means that your pancreas has more time to release other hormones because the pancreas is responsible for releasing the insulin hormone and when it's too busy, busy doing that because you're eating over a prolonged period of the day, it cannot release fat burning hormone, which is glucagon. So what you are doing essentially when you're intermittent fasting and the reason why it is so effective is that you've given your body a longer window of time throughout the day to take a break from the insulin spikes, have a longer residence time for glucagon to do its job. Now the reason the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting work so nicely together is because keto meals tend to be much smaller in volume because you're not eating as much carbs, you're eating a lot more fat, and fat is very dense. So if you're eating ketogenic foods in an eight hour time frame, you'll actually find that the volume of your meals is much smaller, which is fine because you're still getting all of the energy you need. However, by concentrating those meals in an eight hour window, your experience of fullness and satiety is going to be much higher than if you spread it out throughout the whole day. And for this reason, this is why most people like to pair these two approaches together because not only does intermittent fasting help minimize your insulin spikes, the ketogenic diet does the same exact thing because it is keeping your carbs very, very low and helping minimize that. So if you have insulin resistance, if you're pre-diabetic, if you are diabetic, if you have PCOS, or if you are having your A1C levels in your blood starting to creep up over that pre-diabetic range, this would be a great approach to pair together. So if you have any questions or concerns on whether or not these approaches are right for you, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.